What's up guys, my name is Kevin with Nia Auto Design and today we're going to be installing the Nia Diffuser on this Lexus RCF. With the purchase of the Nia Diffuser, you'll receive four clips and two screws. To install it, you will need a clip remover or a flathead stubby screwdriver. You'll also need a stubby Phillips screwdriver and we recommend an angle driver for installation. If you choose the fourth brake blade option on your Nia Diffuser, you'll see that the cables already have with some adapters on the end. You'll also receive three cables and all three cables have a little plug for your light. And then the other end, you'll see a quick tap for your OEM lights. What you will need for this installation is just a razor blade and a crimper, or you could even use some pliers. So a few things about the Nia Diffuser. Uh, one is that it's made out of ABS plastic, so it's perfect as a diffuser because it won't warp or melt with the heat. Two is we have an available color match, so you can color match it to the vehicle's color or you can do any color. You can do black, you can just do the same black as the rear balance, or you can do the gray as your uh, uh, grill in the front. Uh, two other options that you have is you can get it with the fourth brake light or you can get it with the grill in the center. Uh, in this case, we're going to be installing it with the fourth brake light, which already includes your cables for easy installation. If you're going to jack up your car, make sure you use jack stands for safety. In this case, we're going to use the angle driver, so we're just going to creep up underneath. When you receive the diffuser, you're going to notice a few pre-drilled holes. The bigger ones are for your factory clips, and the smaller ones are for your support screws. With a clean rag, what you want to do is wipe down the bottom of your rear balance. This way you can get rid of any rock debris or anything that you might have underneath. Now with your clip remover, you're going to remove four factory clips that are underneath the rear balance. So first we want to access the uh, OEM cables. So with this you need to start taking a few things out of your trunk, kind of like this. After you remove the floorboard, this is when you're going to remove your rear panel. But to remove this rear panel, you need to remove this clip right here. This is when you use your clip remover and access it just like so. Once you remove the three clips, two on the corners and one in the middle, then this is when you remove the liner. And now you just remove the little rubber piece out of the way. And this is all just clipped in there. So just grab it from the bottom to the side. And it should come out just like so. After this, the rear panel is removed, we're going to do the driver's side uh, side panel. We're going to start off by this clip, and this is just basically a screw on. Just unscrew this. Once this cap is off, then you remove the bottom clip here, and just top clear again with your clip remover, just like so. Once all the clips are removed, then you just move this to the side and you're going to reach in here. And with your clip remover, you just tap in here and this will disconnect this plug. Once you get this out, this is when you get the razor blade and just cut into the wire loom just so we can make room to tap into these cables. On your factory loom, you'll notice you have a yellow, a red, a black, and a green and black wire. In this case, we're going to be using the yellow one, the red one, and the black one. So, grab your first wire, the white one. Your white one is power, and that one you're going to tap into the yellow one. So basically just guide it into the channel. On the last channel in the corner, once that's in place, you get the crimper and crimp it. So now you do the same thing, red wire goes with the red wire, same thing, just guide it to the last channel. And lastly you can connect the black wire to the black wire. So just to make sure all the wires are crimped correctly, this is when I like to do a quick little test and just connect your black wire 
with your black connector. Same thing with the red. And the same thing with the white. In order to test the light, we have to plug this back in to the plug, just like so. And this is when you want to do is turn on the light. See how the light turns on? That means you got it good. Now press on the brake. You see how it lights up? There we go, again. So we're good to go. So if you notice underneath the plug, there's a rubber seal, and that rubber seal leads to the outside of the bumper. So we're going to use this to feed the cables to the uh, fourth brake light. So with your clip remover, you're going to remove this piece of rubber. Once you remove the uh, rubber piece, just bring it out a little bit. And you're going to do a quick little slit just to feed the wires in through. And that should be fine. So this is when you start feeding the cables one by one through the little slit. Once you run your cables through the rubber piece and just creep up under here and you're going to find them just like so. Once all your cables are ran, just put the rubber piece back on. Once your wire is ran and tucked under the bumper, this is when you color match them and just connect them. So red would go with red. Black would go with black. And white would go with white. Once all the cables are connected, grab a piece of electrical tape and just wrap around each and every single one of them. And this will prevent them touching each other. Once your cables all ran, now you can present the diffuser to the car. Just make sure to hide it underneath. And then with the clips provided to you, you can mount them to the factory holes. Once your factory clips are on, is when you go back with your support screws and just present them through the pre-drilled holes and self-tap into the rear balance. When you do that, make sure you only do them halfway. That way you prevent from over tightening it with the drill. And finally, with your stubby Phillips screwdriver, you're going to hand tight the support screws. That way you prevent from over tightening it with the drill and stripping the balance. Once the clips are on securely and the screw is tight, you're good to go. Thanks again for watching this video. Please subscribe. And if you have any questions, make sure to comment below. We'll make sure to get to you ASAP. Also check out our website for this and many other products that we have for the Lexus RCF. Thanks again.